Uh, should I take off that cohort? Yes. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and take off their harm. Just making sure. They're at uh, weak, which I'm not sure exactly what that does. I'll look real quick. I think it's probably like a lowered effect. Yeah. Pull. Oh, I can pull my PDFs back up. Weakened, they have reduced effect. So if it would be standard, they would be at impaired or lessened or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> All right. Wait, where did I save the... Oh, I may not have saved it. Okay, let me pull back up the one I sent y'all earlier. That's actually a really good... Um, That cheat sheet. There we go. And I'll make sure I'll save it this time. Um, yeah, but right here. Oh, you printed it? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just to make sure I didn't have to bring it up every time. Okay, so, um, yeah, they, they go past um, Kirsten and making a very loud show of the fact that there was a bit of a scuffle in the back. A bit of a scuffle? Just, yeah, a bit of a scuffle, Lord. What do y'all do? We walk back in laughing and joking. <laughs> Lean blue boat. Think they run this town? <laughs> Were you even in the fight, doggy? I don't even see a scratch upon you. I don't get hit. I just hit. This is that good, brother. Well, um, is um, is Marga still there? Uh, no, she's she had left. Okay, uh, pay, we'll pay our tab and leave. Um, hey, um, speaking of Marga, um, I noticed you said you. You were the one responsible, not we. We let the royal you. Come on, give me credit where it's due, right? I um, it was I, it was my fault. I killed Jared. No, no, I don't. I mean, I don't mean the killing of Jared. Mm. I meant the entire ordeal. Well, I was only referring to the killing of Jared. Don't get your balls in an uproar. Doggy. We'll have doggy. to have you neutered. The killing of Jared, is that like the song of Roland or something? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well. Thank you, Sai. So <clears throat> we need we need to hit them on their territory and take over one of their claims. We want to take their claim. Uh, their extortion claim on a neighborhood. Um, which means we need, we probably know which neighborhoods are theirs, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because the they're closest not one to us at. is, you know, we'll just slowly expand. We're going to take the closest one to us. But we'll probably need to get some information um, to figure out when the best time to hit them is. Because we want to make sure, I want to make sure we catch Bear and Razorback specifically. Because I figure if we're going to dismantle their operation, all of the, uh, you know, all of the names, those are the ones that need to go away. Mm -hmm. Here's what, what I what I think we do is we, uh, we find out when they do their collections, mm -hmm. um, follow them around for the morning, let them do, you know, four or five businesses, gank them, and then go back to those businesses and say, ah, we believe that uh, we found this out in the street, thought that it belonged to you. Well, instead of us, let's just um, see if Clinks can do that. He's a messenger. He is um, quality one, so he's tier one. And he's known on the street, so him being out there isn't a big deal like us following them. So we don't have to sneak, but we can find out where they are well, yeah, and find out when, 
when when we return the gold that they extorted, I think we should do that in person. Sure, absolutely. But fi- finding out where they hit, that would be a gather information from Clinks, right? Have they used Clinks for that? that. Yeah, and Clinks is. Uh... Clinks, Clinks is one of our cohort. He's tier one. He's quality one, scale okay. zero. Um, instead of commanding him, um, I'm going to offer, I'm going to lead him on it. So I would roll for them and then roll for me because I'd be leading it like a group action, right? Um, yeah, for the cohorts. I thought you just rolled for them and applied your bonus. I don't think there were two... That they essentially become equipment. Yeah, when you uh, roll their quality, see how it goes. You can oversee by leading group action. If you direct the cohort with with others, roll command. If you participate in the action alongside them, roll the appropriate action. Um, the quality affects the position and effect of the action. Okay. So, if I command them, it would be plus one effect. If I lead them on it, that's plus one. Then I'd ro- roll it as a group action. It would still be plus one effect. It's not a group action at that point. It's just you 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 roll like normal. It's mm-hmm. just that it it will help the uh, affects the position and effect of the action. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna command him then, so it'll be a higher effect. And I just click roll on the cohort mm-hmm. with no bonus dice. And, and what were you looking for a, again? Uh, where they hit, you know, where they're. What's their what's their schedule? Their yeah, he got a two. That's uh, he didn't. Yeah, incomplete information. Um. Yeah, so if you talk to him, he, he kind of uh, as he sort of comes back, um, he's like, "Well, a number of places along the waterfronts, I couldn't see a particular time where they have people uh, pop in." for any specifics, but he points out like a number of businesses uh, that all face the waterfront directly. There's, there's some there's some other ones. These are the most high, high profile. They're the ones that uh, are, are in the places that cost the most to have a shop. Exactly. Oh, very well. Thank you, Clinks. I appreciate your help. Sorry I couldn't get more. You do your best. We understand. So then... Um... I, I, I'm not tossing him a coin, but, you know, we pay him every time. It's yeah. not a coin, but we pay him what we pay him. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, uh, Douglas, I think this may be your turn to perhaps. Right. Um, I've got um, a friend, um, uh, Valerius. He's a spy. Um, I think if we gave him um, a, a small amount of money, we could get him to uh, maybe get us a little more information. I think I'm going to double check something real quick. Generally, what happens is, is you can't take two bites at the apple. That's oh. that's sort of so basically, it's like oh, I, I try. Well, I'm going to send this other person to try. I'm going to send this other person to try. So like the information. Yeah, I you... was uh, I was just going to send him to hunt and figure out where they are, yeah. not where they hit, where they are, so we can go get them. Okay, yeah, that that's a that's a different thing you're kind of going towards. Because he's a hunter, you know, he's a hound, and and I figured if he oh, hunted them and found figured out where they were and where to hit their lair, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm uh, going to get ready to uh, go find them. Now, how much stress do you have? I have one. Doggy, you have one. Do you want to lead a group action? Have us all do it so that we're right there when we find them and and can act on it. Yeah. And then you then uh, now the downside of this is. Um, if I'm involved in this group action, <laughs> it, it, it sounds like you're going away from gathering information and into the actual like hit of the strike. Oh, well then let's just uh, have him gather the information and then we'll move on. So that's all him then. Right. So do I just need to roll? Well, I guess, tell me what you're doing and how you're doing it. All and right. What, what you're, what you're looking for. <clears throat> the small amount of information we got from our cohort. I'm going to, um, Start going by those shops. As a matter of fact, I think, if I'm not mistaken, according to your sheet, Fallon's Clothier. Fallon's uh, Clothier is the one that you had broken into. Uh, it, 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 that's where they keep. That's where they at least kept the money. But it's not one of the places that they're. Uh, right, right. But starting there and and working our way around, um, in that area, um, the shops nearby. Start there, and work my way. Um, 
outwards. I think he wants to know what the ultimate effect yeah, of your well, action. Yeah, what, what, what are you trying to do? Oh, uh, find out where they're holed up. Okay, so, so yeah, you're... Especially raise a bat. You're basically look, looking to, like, uh, to follow people back. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, which, yeah, I think for you is probably... It was a hunt is one of the... Uh... Yes. Is that what I'm using? Yep. Okay. Now, you can... I don't know how many dots you have in hunt, but if you want to increase the number of dice, you can either take two stress and add a die or ask for a devil's bargain and see what that would be. And um, I, I think you're hunting... I think the... Um... What, what do you have for your, your pet? I have three for hunt. But what do you have for your pet? For my what? Your pet. Oh, my um, my crow. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's a hunting expert. Oh. Uh, <laughs> it's a tier one. Yeah. I believe. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of checking through um, the uh, hunting pet. Yeah, so it's, it's an expert hunter. So th- th- that's when you can also, like, if you if you see someone, you can kind of point out, and then what what was it again? A bird, a crow. Yeah, yeah it's a it's yeah. a crow. So yeah, basically it, it's one where you could, um, if you see someone, use that to to uh, since it's expert. I think yeah. there, if you you upped your, um, uh, you could lower your risk or up your uh, uh, effect. Effect. Okay. I would say lower the risk. Right. Because I think your what's his effect is probably going to be standard. Yeah. And my position would be. It would be controlled least. with if because it's going to be hard to find you because they're not looking for a bird and the bird you can follow safely from a block away. Right. Yeah. I mean, you, you you could be like around the corner and know okay that's that's where I'm heading towards. No one's going to really pay attention to the bird that every once in a while takes off. And you said um, value would be standard. Yes. Hmm. Okay, and should I do? Do you think that a bonus die at this point is necessary? How many dice do you have in hunt? Hunt, I have three. You've okay. got more than a seventy-five percent chance of success. It's just may have a consequence. Right, and then before well, I usually click for, submit, usually for gather information, it's not quite the same. Um, yeah, the grade is exceptional detail. Standard is good detail. You can have some a couple follow-up questions. The limited is done, so it's not like um, uh, I don't believe the, the the gather information is like a standard action roll. I'm, okay. I'm looking at the um, the sheet. Well, in that case, uh, I would go with uh, do the ris- risky move with the great effect. I think. Yeah. What do you, What do you want to do, Dave? Um. Well, let's see. Let's try that. Three, two, three. Risky with great effect. Yep. Nope. So yeah, you get good detail. Um, or that. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's actually a. Um, yeah, one, two, three is the limited. Um, you're actually able to follow pretty easily for a while, but then you get to a point where there are. So there's these uh, two sort of blocks in particular. Um, you've got like the. Um, uh, the canal that that goes through it, but there, as, you, as you're kind of going, you notice that there's a lot of lookouts mm-hmm. in that area. You got a lot of eyes on there, and so the best thing that there becomes to kind of peel off at this point. So you know the basic area that they're at, okay. But as far as specifics, like they're within these two blocks. This, okay. is, this it seems to be. You see a couple others wearing fog uh, foghound colors go into this area. But as I said, they've even got like what looks like the the kids of the area, uh, kind of keeping an eye out. Uh, okay. So they do seem like they're a little more on alert than from standard, which I can't imagine why. <laughs> yeah, Jared. Uh, I think I'm gonna. I th- I think because we're ready to kick this off, and it's probably not going to be a great great opening position. But um, I'm. A, I I think we should leave the cohort at home. Let them heal. I think this just needs to be us. Okay. Um, they're on limited effect, and I don't want them hurt. Well, and we we are working on our brand. Yeah. So it's got to be us. Well, we're going to be there anyway, but if we had a larger cohort, maybe. <laughs> they are part of the, part of the ministry. So. Right. 
but they're hurting and I'm, uh, uh, you know, I'm going to take care of my people. Yep. And we're going to take care of some of these foghorns too. Yep. All right. Well, that's, uh, we have the, uh, I guess our point of attack is that two block radius. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we don't have one. Um, that means we make an engage. You make an engagement roll, right, Michael? Yeah. So I'll say at this point. Um... By the way, we each need to pick a load. I'm picking normal because that's five. Um, but because we have the yeah. the uh, the uh, Bravo rigging, I can have up to seven. Yeah. But you should each pick your load. I'm picking a heavy load. That means you're going gun gun for bear. Yep. I mean, it's obvious. It's Jane walking down the middle of the street. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to take a heavy load, too. Why not? So we have how many bonus? We get two bonus, right? Two bonus. So if it's if if heavy load is normally six, then we would be able to take eight. And that does not it. include our italicized. Like, Nothing that's italicized of- takes a takes any load. It's not a contest, Primo. No, but uh, if I decide I need heavy armor at some point during it, then I have to click three boxes. Yep. Now, I think there is. Um, I'm trying <sighs> to remember what that actually is. Um, there is essentially a um, a claim. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, isn't there a negative for having? I know there, there's the more obvious. But is there, is there, there's some other couple other things if you're going heavy. There's a other. Uh, let me look. Let me pull it out of here. Where you at? Terrifying again. Is there a way to link that stress table with the actual character sheets? There very possibly is. I have no idea what it would be. Probably not. <laughs> like there, there probably. Like I said there, there's probably a way to do it, but you probably have to have like a. Um, uh, knowledge of how to do it yeah page 57 and uh heavy you're slower you look like an operative on a mission uh but if we have more than heavy then we'd be encumbered you're overburdened and can't do anything except move very slowly okay so basically if you've got something that makes you move quickly you're gonna be at like lesser effect right okay but we're not looking to move quickly. We're looking to just beat the fuck out of them. <laughs> like yep. a tank. So in that case, um, are you, this is the straight up battle? Yeah. Okay. So. Snapping necks and cashing checks. So <laughs> when it comes to the engagement role, um, it is definitely pretty ballsy. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> um, yeah, we have three leaders of the ministry, ministry, and four testicles between us, or eight testicles between us. <laughs> yeah. So and Jared's are two of them. <laughs> uh, you are hitting in their strong point because it looks like you're going straight for their their essentially their their home territory. Yep. Okay, so that goes back down to one die. They are a higher tier. Which puts you at technically zero dice. Yeah. <laughs> roll engagement. Number of dice. I'm actually curious if I hit zero, if it'll do... It'll roll yep. two and take the lowest. Well. We're desperate. Yeah, where in particular were you planning on, like, like were you oh. just, like, full... Oh, we get to roll our own dice in this game. I see how it is. Gotta, the the engagement roll is made by the GM. The fixed Republican uh, government. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. Turn off your 5G and you'll stop your coronavirus. In the meantime, let's play the game. Wait, what? That works? <laughs> um, so w- would you just do a straight-up assault? Yes. Okay. Um, as you reach the area, uh, you kind of manage to keep yourself, you thought, relatively um, uh, ready. But as, as you're kind of before the area that they're in, uh, one thing that you notice, Dave, fairly quick is a lot of their eyes have been pulled in. A lot mm-hmm. of like the people they had on the thing, uh, yeah. they're back, and there is a tension in the air. Someone 
has seen you coming and and uh, sounded an alarm back that way. So, the place you... so, as far as clocks go, we have the basic... Now, you are... Wait, oh, makes them so little. I need to change that. So, you have the basic... Um... Now, in some respects, you're not necessarily there to kill the Foghounds or take them out entirely. But it looks like you're also there to impress oops, impress the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, oh, I don't like those ones. You were um, just there to take the territory. Whatever, yes. the, whatever, however we define that, right? Okay, yeah. When you're, you're also, like, in, tr trying to uh, get the citizens terrified. Yes. Okay. So the terrified citizens themselves, the, you're looking at two eight clocks here. I'm going to move these other ones up towards the beer. And we'll do one... One that's just getting into the territory. So, you're in a position where you are on enemy turf, a bad engagement roll, you have, uh, they are higher tier than you are, but you're going in and you're going old. So, uh, gaining access to the territory, because you have, like I said, there, there are some, uh, some guards and such have been set. Some people are out looking for people like you to show up and you are, uh, are is this daytime or is this a night? It's daytime. Okay. You, there's like an alley across the street, uh, that you're you're looking they they haven't seen you here yet but it's very clear that someone uh someone along the way had cuz they they are ready for bear right now what, what do you do so all right um i have throwing knives You have a friend who's a spy, right, Dave? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you could do a flashback to have them up on a rooftop pointing us where to go. Oh, they could have yeah, infiltrated the Foghounds. Yeah, I do that. Um, wait. Now, how? Look, before we do this, before you actually do it, let's – how would – Michael, how would he have to – how would that work mechanically? For flashbacks? Yeah, well, he would pay a stress or two stress for the flashback, unless it's a zero stress flashback. But it seems like it would be at least one because he'd have to make contact with them. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, here you're looking at uh, one stress. And would it be consort, sway, command? Um, He's got to get them to do I'm the thing yeah, for con him. Consort's with the friends you've got. Probably consort. Okay. Do you have consort? I do. I have level one. I mean, it's worth it's worth a shot. The worst yeah. that can happen is they could say no, or maybe okay. kill us. I don't know. Turn Risky, on us. control, desperate. Yes. Um, risky. Okay. Uh, standard effect. Yep. Okay. And I don't have any bonus. Yeah, tech tech should probably technically be. Lesser effect because they are, they are a higher tier than you. Okay, so let me cancel that. Do it again. We mean limited. Yep. Ah, yes. Okay. <clears throat> My rolls are awful today. Yeah. So I'll say you Mine you too. you would talk to him. Um, you kind of look up at the position where he's supposed to be. Kind of overlooking. Um, what was his name again? Uh, this me, I think. Hold on, let me. Viserys or Valeris? Valeris. V a l a r i s. V e l e r i s. And he's a spy. Yep. And friend of yours. He's a deadly friend. Yeah, he's not one of my top, but he's not my bottom. Either. Okay. Um. Because I think you only get the you don't get all those people on the show. Oh, you don't. No, you no. Okay. Yeah, you just you, you have Steiner the assassin. 
Steiner the assassin is my yeah, two two is good and one is an enemy. Yeah, so that would that would be Steiner and not uh Yeah, yeah the, so the other so ones the other ones are ones you, you could have chosen. Oh, okay, I get it now. Okay, so I wish they would go away. So Steiner? <laughs> Steiner, yeah, he's an assassin. Although I picked two I thought it was two up and one down. Is it just one of each? It's one up, one down. Yep. So. Unless you had a special thing on yours, which I don't think you did. Yeah, you're able to choose the. There's something you're able to choose one. That, that's a. That was the. Uh, whether you want the plus one or plus two. So yeah, you should only have one up, one up, and one down. Yep, that's what I have. Okay. So you had Steiner. Yep. Okay. Um, Steiner was supposed to meet you. i at, at this place. Uh, he's kind of not showing. And then you can kind of see through. You got like the the houses and such that uh, that come together, and these, these houses were built um, pretty ramshackle. And there's a little bit of a maze almost working in them, which is which is one of the ways the Foghounds originally got some of their powers. Is it's uh, it's difficult to kind of get your way into them. Um, you do see sort of like down one of the sort of hall. You got the uh, one one of the alleyways. You've got a couple of the guards there in the back. You see them dragging an unconscious Steiner. Okay, I relay that information. They got Steiner. I I can't leave him by himself. I need to help. We'll get him. I'm looking for something. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. It's all right. Um, trying to look for something. Damn it. So when when uh, Dave rolled. Like I see the roll, but not the result. You don't have you don't see the two underneath it. No. I see that there are two dice, but no result. Like in no, the there's only there's only one die. That die came up at two. Oh, that's the result. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Now, if you look at the engagement up above, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm seeing that now. The two and the three. Oh, Steiner okay. has also been added. You've got a bunch of shit going on. Let me make a slight change. Perhaps and, we should uh, try tomorrow, boys. Yeah, perhaps we should tuck tail and run the fuck away. Oh, wait, no. We don't do that. Nope. Not happening. This is about to get worse. Um, I'm letting you I'm putting this here for you uh, Sai it's a handout of leech items oh they're already there you've already got one he's already done it because fuck yeah um, that's that's so, was great isn't it? isn't it isn't it amazing so if you look at your thing um, you've got a you potentially have a bandolier and on that bandolier are um, three things. Each bandolier you have has three things on it. And it's any three things from that list at the right on the leech items. Yeah. Alkahest, binding oil, drift oil, drown powder, eye blind poison, fire oil, grenade, quicksilver, skull fire poison, smoke bomb, spark, uh, standstill poison, and trance powder. And if you look at the I, uh, can we, bombs, I oils, want to check with both of you real quick. Mm -hmm. I also want to make sure that like Paul and Dave are able to play the characters. Well, I was just yeah. trying to show them what he's yeah, got. What they've got, yeah. Just... Cause, and, it, and if he wants to know what they do on bombs, oil, drugs, and potions, and special formulas mm -hmm. and gadgets, any questions you have probably are answered on those two pages. Yeah. Because it doesn't do us any good to have the stuff if, if they don't know to use it. Um, and I'm that trying to figure out what I've got. Just Paul's. Those ones are just Paul's. Like, you, you've That's got, right. like, the hound items... Yeah, I put the thing in there because like yours are less um, uh, technical. Yeah, it's just the the leech has got a bunch of stuff that is because they're tinkerers. Yeah, blow, yeah, blow darts, blow guns, dart syringes, uh, the tools, the gadgets. And gadgets are ones that yeah, they can kind of create. Track the load for each gadget deployed during an operation. and stuff that's 
not the one. All right. Um, where am I at? There I am. It was hidden. Yeah, Paul, right, did, so, did you look over your the bombs, oils, and drugs, and potions? Yeah, yeah, I've got a, a thing in my book on that page. Okay. Quick reference. So uh, I'm pulling out my scary weapon or tool. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is a a long um, reinforced pole with uh, not a long pole, but it's like a a heavy cudgel with spikes on one end. Um, It is very intimidating looking and people are off the street. There are there's no. There, there, there are like you see people looking out windows and such, um, and there, there are people like a little bit further on, but like right around that area of the, itself, you have um, a lot of their people have uh, have pulled in. So you got you got like guards and stuff. You got like some, some of the gangs set up to keep an eye out as okay. people are approaching. So I see some gang. Yep. So I'm gonna walk up with uh, with this damn. <laughs> this huge ass scary weapon or tool uh and i'm going to command them to tell me where um razorback where they're at where is baron razorback where baron yeah where is baron razorback (laughs) (laughs) tell me where is baron razorback (laughs) okay i'll say like just walking up there it's like you are your lower tier What, what what does a scary weapon do uh, it increases the effect of uh, it either increases the effect as far as damage in a combat or the effect if I uh, if I'm intimidating. Okay, which means if you if you're walking out um, just to the guards there to their territory, it's gonna be a desperate position. Oh, we already started on oh, yeah, desperate. Yeah, started so. position. Uh, it will bring you up to a standard effect because because of the tier difference, it would normally be, normally be limited. Okay. So I'm gonna. Tell me where they are. Bear, razor back. And uh, so I'm, I'm marking the experience because it's desperate. Now I'm going to command. Um, uh, you said it's desperate mm-hmm. and standard effect. Yep. And I'm not going to take any stress on this. What's a devil's bargain look like? Um, I think on uh, we'll just go with the stress on this one. There's not a particular thing that, that pops to mind right now. Okay. Well, then I will just uh, take no bonus dice and roll, and don't know what I got. Three. A three. Is this for the gaining access? Yes. Okay. Um, the, the the ones that are there, they, they look a little uncomfortable because. Uh, as I recall, you're you're not as big as Dave's character, or are you? Free, free oh no, no. Well, I'm a I'm I'm the scrapper. Yeah, I'm okay. the big brute. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They, they may have kind of heard your name. They, they've got like uh, like cudgels with them. Uh, they kind of look at each other with lips a little bit and goes, "Yeah, we we're told to look out for you." Well, here I am. And he kind of turns. He's like, "Tell him we got company." He goes, "I think you made a bit of a mistake." Now, where's where where the rest of you? Right, walking right up. I was envisioning them kind of walking up to the middle, and me kind of off to the side, sticking around for a, a vantage point off to the side. Do Do you guys each have skirmish? I'm just curious. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Yes, I do. Okay. <laughs> Can, uh, how about this? I will lead a group skirmish action of us versus them to beat these guys into bloody unconsciousness. Not death, but bloody unconsciousness. Is that doable, Michael? I was just going to throw a grenade into the middle of them while you were... Or you could tell me to get out of the way and chuck <laughs> a grenade at them. That's effective, too, and not nearly as polite. <laughs> that's Your call. Was, if, that's if that's what you want. Decide, as soon as they say no... All right. 
Uh, can we can we have that as a zero uh, zero stress flashback that she said if they turn you down, get out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm kind of picturing them like kind of up on the steps on the little deck, you know, hiding behind some barrels and shit. So, so uh, when they say, "I think you made a mistake," uh, I uh, I look at Hound or I look at Doggy and say, "I think you're right," and we just take a few steps back very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> and I realize the angrier my character gets, the lower class's accent gets. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> Okay, let me pull up something real quick. Jesus, Sai, don't leave a bunch of pieces everywhere. <laughs> and I'm thinking that, like, since my goal here really is to, like, kind of scatter them and just break their defensive formation, that I don't know if this would be, like, a wreck versus a skirmish. I mean, it's the same rule either way. What is what does that just, uh, say the specifics for a wreck? Um, for uh, if you if you mouse over it, it'll wreck a place, item, or obstacle with savage force. Um, breach defenses with force. Create distraction and chaos. Yeah, so it, it kind of depends on on are you are if you if you seem to get, gain entrance, it seems like wreck might be the thing. Skirmish might be if you're trying to go for uh, specific. Uh, specific damage there. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to like scatter them and break any of the like destroy the cover they're hiding behind and hopefully maybe even blow open the door. Okay, so you're going for the gaining access. Yeah. Okay. And you know, kind of getting them distracted for a second so that these two can charge in and mop them up. I I think one thing that we're suffering from as players is that we're trying to tell say what we're doing instead of what effect we're trying to gain by doing that instead of nope. saying the effect and then what we're doing would be yeah. much quicker. You need to get I in the habit of, uh, of speaking in terms of moves, I think. Yeah. So right. you're and trying to gain just... access by throwing a grenade, scattering them, and maybe blowing the door open. Yeah. Cool. All right. So risky <laughs> standard effect. <laughs> um... uh, it's, it's desperate. Okay, well, let me cancel that. Then. But that uh, means you get an experience on prowess. Yeah. And I'm going to also uh, take the two. Uh, I'm going to take the two stress to get an extra die. Unless you've got some kind of cool uh, deal you want to offer. Um, no, not right. Not this moment. All right. And still standard effect though. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a fucking grenade, man. Or uh, your, your limited effect because you are lower tier. All right. Oh no! Well, well, well I, I would I'm about to give you a bargain, but you don't need it. Um, and I can't edit my own uh, stress right now. It's locked. Oh, uh, which one? On the tabletop. On the like, cars. Like last week, I could click on it and change it, but oh, now I can select it. You should be able to right click it. it. Right click it. Multi side, choose side. Oh, okay. I got to choose side. Yeah. Yeah, I did choose side. I just and slide it over. Up and where's the little pop up? There it is. All right. Yeah. Now I got it. Okay. All right. Um. Yeah. This is the one. This is the table I should head up a little bit earlier. So, with Mikey, with your your earlier one, the three. Mm -hmm. Um. There, there's gonna be complication kind of popping up from that. Um, okay. Yeah, as, as as you you throw it, there's there's the explosion, and about the same time you hear a pistol shot Yikes. from like upstairs and one of them through the window. Um, and yeah, so you'd be looking at severe harm. Uh, yeah, you, you had be... someone looking to, to to fire at someone. That would be me. No, no, that would be that'd be Paul. All right. So you can resist by making a resist roll. Could be resisting with resolve or prowess. Uh, that one is would be prowess instead of the physical. Um, also, if you've got armor and stuff with with you, you can end up spending that to mark off. No, 
I'm not expecting it, so I wouldn't really be dodging it anyway. Six. All right, that's zero stress. So you you do dodge. Yeah. So that <laughs> that would take it from a a, a severe to the the minus one die, the the next level for there, which would be um, uh, shot leg. You could, if you wanted, also use up uh, some armor to take that down to um, bruised leg, which would be the lesser effect. Uh, what what is the effect overall of shot leg? Just, like, shot forward? leg means you have a minus one die on everything you roll. On everything I roll. Yep. Well, everything you roll that would like if if you're sitting there like tinkering on something if you had time, but if you've got if anything that would require like your leg. Like movement, okay. Yep, like like movement, and even some of the combat stuff, because you're trying to throw a grenade or do something like that, and you've got a, a bullet wound in your leg, that's a problem. Yeah, all right, so do I have to check off both armor boxes, or is it one for use? Because what happens is is you, you the, the two armor there, if you click both of them, that takes up two of your slots and gives you one thing of armor. And is that reusable, or is that like a bladed? Uh, it, it's, it's a bladed on this one. You then click on the armor uh, armor uses. So that means you have armor, and if you use it now, that will then take down. Um, so yeah, then you click on the armor use. I'm not seeing armor use. No, it's it's uh, it's over right, right to the left of armor, right above like where your coin is, okay. and the healing clock. Okay, so if you just want to put bruised leg as that pistol shot rings out, but you had. Yeah, so that was the four. So that just lowers your effect on anything to do with your leg. Yep. Yeah, so right now, if the explosion happens. Uh, you're, you're close to gaining access. That There's one more left on that clock. You still have the Foghounds, the Terrorized Citizens, and Steiner. Dave? Okay. Um, <clears throat> the effect I'm going for is to cause as much confusion for them as possible mm -hmm. to make our attacks more effective. So Chum, my bird, mm -hmm. is going to attack um, and fly through and try to cause as much chaos as possible. Okay. While, while I also take some shots. So if is this possible. to attack them or to gain access? Because we can't really... Can we attack them before we gain access? Well, he, he's got with the guns, yeah. Okay. It's, it's it, yeah, it's one of those things where it would get to a point where it's, it's difficult, but yeah, cool. That's that's the plan. All right, so this would be skirmish. It'd be skirmish. Um, you are in a desperate situation. It's going to have a limited effect because they are uh, unless you have something that raises up your effect because they are a tier above you. Is he using pistols? I am using pistols. He should be using hunt then, shouldn't he? Hmm. Attack oh, with precision attack with and shooting from a distance. From a distance, that's right. Um, as opposed to skirmish. Which yeah, is skirmish a, is close combat. Mm -hmm. So skirmish. No hunt. Hunt. Okay. All right. Uh, so as far as the, my bird is concerned, do I need to roll for that? I can't honestly see how your how one crow is going to make that much of a difference. It, if it, it's looking at one guy's eyes. Well, maybe you should watch. Oh, so it's so you're going after an, an individual as opposed to because you said earlier cause yeah. a lot of chaos. Fly, fly in, and oh. then attack one person. Oh, so basically, okay, attack one person while you're maybe firing at the other. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. I, I, I thought you were having it go into the block itself, trying to cause chaos. I'm like, I don't see a bird doing that. No. Yeah, no. Definitely, like, like take, like getting one of the guys, one of the guards that are up by where you were uh, distracted. Distracted. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So hunt. Mm -hmm. And you said desperate, and it'll be a standard. Um, standard, uh, st yeah, standard, standard on there because you've got uh, the bird will bring it up, right? Um, and then if so, if I push, if I uh, you stress, is that how that works? Yeah, it'll give you an extra die. So how many two? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Devil's bargain here. If you want another die, if you succeed, you're going to kill the one you're firing at. We'll get more heat, but but there's one less person to kill us. Uh, that doesn't necessarily matter as much. Yeah, <laughs> right. not, the specific numbers is not really as big a thing in here as it is. 
Because there will be people shooting at us until their clock is filled, I'm sure. And what did you say the effect was again? Uh, the effect will be standard because the uh, the crow the crow brings it up. Okay, and I uh, use a bonus bonus that because I took the stress, mm -hmm. I get a one bonus die. But if you want to take the heat, do it, man. Uh, I know I kind of got to get this die monkey off my back. I'm just saying I'm the guy who uh, I'm the guy who killed Jared because. Oh, I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and remember, th this th you could also put this towards the terrorized citizens. Ooh, that could be a dual-purpose double-edged sword. Do it, man. All right, I'll take the devil's deal. So devil's deal means you'll, you'll kill the one. Do you want this to go towards defeating the fog hounds or terrorizing the citizens? Or um, possibly are you trying to get them to drop Steiner in the back? Uh, they're, they're, they're a little further back. but Yeah, Steiner's a little farther away. Um so yeah, part of the way this works is what the effect is you're looking at. Are we trying to take out the fog hounds specifically? Do you want to use this to no, terrorize? Ter them? Terrorize. Okay. Terrorize. Okay, so let me try this one more time. One more again. Desperate. Standard effect. One die. Submit. It's Six. a success. Also, because you rolled with desperate, take an experience on insight. Mm -hmm. All right, and yeah, you did not take the devil's bargain, as I recall. Yeah, so uh, and this one is uh, your bird. If you if you want to describe to me what happened to your bird, and the there's the two guys who are out front where you're where you're at on those street corners. Yeah, um, if you want to describe what that looks like, what you do. Okay, yeah. uh, the bird chum flies in, and we like wings like it's gonna land like on a branch you know how they flap really hard mm -hmm. before they land and he's clawing and pecking at the guy's face mm -hmm. um and then while that's happening at the other guy um okay um kind of he just hits the thing and slumps against the wall and he's bleeding um are you going for the kill there or um no okay yeah he's he, he's like he's gonna be like have some troubles where he's at right now, you got other, you hear some other cries and stuff coming from inside, but then um, the guy with the bird actually goes in, pops his eye out, yes. and there's a thing where it's one of those things where like the, the camera would then swing over and you would see like over on the uh, thing like other like people who are like kind of huddled in the homes and like looking out in some of these apartment flats like oh god I like, just see him sending the bird so yeah you've got the the citizens a bit more terrorized. Um, and yeah, you did it. You do not have a. Uh, uh, there's not a reaction for that part of it, but you still have. Uh, you're not quite inside yet. You you hear the guard and stuff running from deeper in. Yeah. What does someone do? Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to bludgeon the fuck out of somebody to get in. I'm just going to use this intimidating weapon and this scary weapon of mine to hit somebody who's in the way between me and that door to get okay. into the fog hounds. All right. Um, so got to find my character sheet. There we go. Uh, this would be skirmish, right? Mm -hmm. Am I still at desperate? Yeah. Okay. Um, well, so once you, once you gain access, you get into a place where you can be in um, uh, some corridors, spaces where it's not quite so out in the open. Okay. There, there. Um, once you gain access, you can take it'll. It can go back down from desperate to risky. Um, it gives me plus one effect. So, what effect should I put in? Uh, it'll be standard in this case because um, uh, remember, right now everything you do against the foghounds is lesser effect uh, out of the gate. Okay. And um, what's a devil's bar? Is there a devil's bargain? Um, I think uh, Devil's Bargain, um, if, if you want to do it in a way that the people who've got Steiner mm -hmm. will drop him, basically drop him into uh, the river, so in which case, like, he'll actually need to be saved. I won't take the bargain. Okay. I can run and save him. It's five. Um, so, mixed success. Okay. Um yeah, so as, as you come in, what we'll do is this. Um, as you, you smash your way in, like the, the, the door you're sitting there, you smash your way in, there's you could, like a, 
this is one of the places that they would have to um, keep some like the drugs and some of the other stuff that they'll sell because they smuggle bigger items, but there's also enough other stuff that they'll get. Um, mm-hmm. And also, I'll, I'll, I'll have one of them. Do you, you want to put that the other one on um, the fog hounds themselves, or you want to put it on one of the other clocks? Um, I would like to put it on the citizens. Okay. Um, seeing you burst through the door. Yeah, so one got you there. Uh, the door itself just sort of comes off its hinges. As you, you come in, there's several people uh, behind it as, as they're running in. One guy with a knife uh, is... And the door actually hits hits him, knocking him over like a, a counter. Mm-hmm. This nearby, but then there's someone else uh, on the other side who's got a club and comes straight at your head. Um, with that one, which would be it's severe harm coming your way. Well, I shall resist, sir. <laughs> That's a prowess, yes? Yep. Fight the power. Uh, it's a four. All right, so two stress. Two stress. And, okay, so that would that would gone from... Um, the, the severe with which would be kind of like cracked dome uh, to uh, we can kind of put rung bell for the minus one or do you want to use armor to I'm using armor okay um, so you just want to put like concussion as <laughs> cracks you in the head with uh, with like a, a cudgel that he's got okay all right Dave or Paul uh, I'm gonna start going towards the ones carrying Steiner and. Uh... Time to drop him, loves, and I'm gonna fire, pull out my little uh, lady pistol, and see if I can get one of them off him. Okay. Well, it's is it it's still risky or is it desperate? Uh, we're uh, we'll, we'll say this way: you can get into the desperate because now they're less worried about um, uh, now that the an entrance has been gone. We've gone back down to risky. Um, because you're able to kind of basically get into the alleyways where the people who might be in those windows can't take shots at you. Um, it'll also have a limited effect unless you have something that brings the effect up because they are a tier above. Well, we established last episode I'm a badass, so... Does the badass establishment count? <laughs> Four. Okay. Um... Yeah, so you're 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 going towards Steiner. Yeah, so that'll fill one. So as you uh, as as you rush in, um, yeah, one of the guys is actually going like into like the ones that had him the drop. One of them's going into the um, the building that Mikey just went in through, but through the back door. Um, the other one sort of sees you coming and pulls out a sword, and as he's rushing. Uh, you would have a um, uh, bloody slash okay. coming at you for that. It would just be the harm, which is not the serious, but that's the minus one die. Do you wish to resist? Uh, yeah, I think that would be best. Okay. All right, you can take one stress. You have the five, you take it, uh, subtract from six, that's how much stress it takes to resist, which would take it down to the, um, which I think we forgot the lesser effect earlier, but that's fine. Uh, that, that, that would have been your, you can't go below limited. Um, yeah, so if, if uh, you can use armor on this if you want, but it's only going to be another of the one die, um, uh, if you just want to put bloodied. So it's, so it's a stress and a, a harm level? Yeah, because the thing is, the normal harm level would have been the like a regular harm, which is that one in the middle that has the minus one die on everything. So in succeeding, you actually lower it down by one. So you're cut, but not bad enough to actually get too much in the way. Okay, so I add bleeding to the... Less oh, effect. I'm going from the top. Okay, I'm going from the top. Yeah, so yeah. The, the top is the one that's severe. Yeah. That gets you pretty much close to out. The one below, the two, the two technically below it are... Yeah, for harm. Did I open the wrong one? No. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, the top is need help. That means you're like, there's not yeah, a lot you can do. The ones yeah. below it reduce your die effects. The two below that um, do the damage as far as. All right. 
Oh, I, th I think the don't the players oh they they drop one level from what they had last time. Do what? Because I opened up Dave's. I don't Dave. You still have your bruised shoulder from last time. Yeah, I do. Did he spend time recovering? I thought I did, but I don't remember. Because if he didn't spend time recovering, then but if he did recover, then the bruised shoulder would be gone. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. He, I don't think he spent time recovering. I don't. I didn't recover. No. Okay. I thought. I thought it was one automatic, and then an additional one if you used it down time. No, I don't think Let so. Let me check. Um. So recover. Cohort. That's a cohort harm and hearing. Um. Yeah. Cohorts automatically heal a little bit during downtime. Um. And in about 10 minutes, I'm going to have to leave for about 5 or 10 minutes. Okay. Yeah, when you recover... Yeah, it looks like recovery is actually a thing that you need to do. You need to, the, use, uh, using up one of your, uh, your, your actions. Your downtime actions. I didn't do that. Okay. I trained and did something else. Okay, yeah, so that's why you still have it. But yeah, so as you, you, get, you get cut a little bit bloodied. Um, but Steiner is like just like slumped on the ground right now. Uh, just that one guard sort of between you two. I think that takes Dave. Okay. Um, I'm going to back Mikey's play, mm -hmm. and I'm going to rush in guns blazing. Tried to help him. Okay. Uh, it's risky. Uh, you have a limited. Now, just for me, and this is, you need to make your decision on this, Dave. I think the most important thing for us right now is to terrorize the citizens. Yep. But you may be pushing to get Steiner free because Steiner's your friend. Right. And that was going to be my next move. I was just going to try to clear a little bit more of the room that you washed, walked into first because I saw Cy go to help Steiner. So, well, I'm just saying Steiner's still got three ticks on his clock. Right. Um, and I don't know. I don't know how long we have to tick the clock off you know what All I mean? right, i'll roll there next mm -hmm. well they're at least distracted against harming him right now so. yep. and dave's also like you get pistols in my hand i can fire like a motherfucker this is true um the one, the one <laughs> i want to double check is that I've, I've also been i've been looking at a couple different games recently so i am trying to remember um for reloads it's fine pair yeah the I remember if you do anything, or I might be thinking of another one that I just looked at. Um, um, oh, you have two shots before reloading. Okay, so now I have to reload. Yeah, so like, like you're on your next one could yeah. be a reload. So you had the, the one last time where you hit someone, and then, yeah, so we'll, that's something we'll just want to keep track of. And that's um, right, because you have a pair of pistols, don't you? Yep. yep. Yeah, so um, are you you're putting that on the citizens, the Foghounds, or Steiner? Uh, that would be on the Foghounds this time. Okay. So tell me what you do as you uh, rush in. All right, rush in. Uh, the door's already off the hinges, correct? Yeah. The guy who um, hit Mikey, taking him out. Okay. And then, um, yeah. Killing him or just downing him? Downing him. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I meant. Um, and then I'm going to roll out of the doorway again and reload, start to reload for my next turn. Okay. All right. Do you want to pop it back to Paul? All right. Well, and as he so finishes, his, take off here. As he finishes his slash on me, uh, I'm going to pull one of my uh, my hair. I don't know what do they call like one of my hair spikes. Hair yeah, pins. Hair pins. Thank you, pin. Yeah, one of my hair pins. And as he's like partially sidestep him and as he goes past just kind of stab him in the leg as he goes by okay is that an unusual weapon uh not for me i'm just checking i didn't know oh oh i guess i should probably have to check it off then um can i count it as just a because i have a blade or two well yeah well, if you gotta put a blade we'll just count it as far as that goes it's not. I mean, it's it, it's cool, but it's not interesting enough to be like. That's my unusual weapon. Like, yeah. There's no there's no special effect on it or anything. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you're risky and then limited. Um. Yeah. So as you 
as it comes in, he's actually able to just kind of grab it and then cracks you like right in the face with the uh, hilt of his sword. Uh, that would be severe harm coming your way. Do you want to resist? Yeah. Um, can you you, you want to? Can you bargain me? Can I can I hurt him while I'm hurting? No, because you. The thing is, what what you rolled is the worst outcome. Means you're not able to do it. Okay. Thus endeth the short reign of the ministry. Son of a bitch. Do you take three stress? Fucking church and state. Do I have any kind of like last ditch thing to reduce this stress? Um, if you are you able to like click off more stuff for say armor? Uh, no, I don't have the room Three, for four, it. Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you'd have, you'd have to throw heavy to have all eight on there. Um, look at the other stuff you've got. I don't think so. Can yeah. I take the damage for her? That knocks me out. I don't know. Are you able to do that? Um, I think protect is a move you can do. Isn't there? I'm out in an alley and you're in a building, though. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if okay. that makes sense or not. I mean, I, I think we can play this to our advantage of like, look, look at what the ministry is willing to suffer to protect it's, you. It's uh, you step in to face a consequence that one of your teammates would otherwise face. You suffer it instead of them. You may roll to resist it as normal. Describe how you'd intervene. That's I would dive in front of a bullet, but if she's too far away, then I can't do it. Yeah, it's... you you be you be too far away at this point. So I want to double check is um when you are out of stress. Uh, when you click that last stress box, that's a trauma. You're out of the scene. I get a trauma. Yep. That You're will... actually out of the rest of the score. Yeah, that yep. that will that will knock you unconscious. And Dave, you're gonna see you you kind of pop back out to reload. Um, yeah. But you're going to see this, so I don't know if you're going to want to actually do the yeah. reload. Yeah, I. that's why, I, like I said, I rolled around mm -hmm. to reload, and then I was planning on coming to a Steiner's aid next. Mm -hmm. So I see this, right? Yep. So is it my turn? Yeah, we can go to you if you want. Okay. So have I? Does this mean I'm reloading right now? Well, re reload would be your turn. Okay. So, so I'm reloading, they... and while I'm moving no. toward no, that you, guy, no, just day, no, day, no, no, day, day, Doug. Day. I, I scream, get there, get her out of here. Yeah. So Dave, if you reload, that's what you do for the turn, because these, these are not like these are not like modern click click done. Oh yeah. yeah and go, so shot. yeah. So it, yeah. It, it, it's partly so that you're someone's able to just not constantly be fire gun 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 gun, okay. um, on those. Okay. Get get her out of here. Okay. So I'm not reloading, and I'm getting sigh. And well, and it might be that you guys don't even know that this has happened until you come out to help Steiner too. Right, that's what I'm seeing. So I'm putting Steiner and Sire now on the same clock. <laughs> <laughs> Wee. Okay. So this guy is still standing there. So I got to take this guy. Mm -hmm. Get something her here. out of here. <laughs> but if he's still attacking, I'm going to take my Rage Essence vial, and if you're around, I have to break you too. Get her the fuck out of. here. Here. You'll try to break me too. <laughs> I don't I don't get to stop. I understand. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna go to Sai mm -hmm. and grab her and try to get out of the alley. If the guy I, I'm I guess I'm asking, is he going to stop attacking? Well he's 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 clubbed her on the head, so she's out. Oh, okay. And he, okay. he's 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 looking up like he's then gonna be running towards but he's he's not going to kill her. But he's not. Is he coming toward me? or Is he going into the building? Well, you you, you see him knock her out. He hasn't like he kind of drops. He hasn't seen you yet. Okay. All right. Mechanically, Dave, there are several things you can do, but effectively, what you have to do is tick three boxes, three sections off on that clock. No matter what it is that you do. Right. So this is going to um, go under whether sigh. it's whether it's picking her up and running away, whether it's hiding, whether it's shooting somebody, which you'd have to reload to do, whether it's um, whistling Yankee right, Doodle right. Dandy to distract right. people, I don't know. Now, can I see what, what Steiner is doing? Is he out, like, is he out cold or is he? What's... Also remember, you, you if, if you want to do the hunt thing, you could have your fine long rifle on your back. No, I, I know, I know, I have that yeah. one as well. Okay, cool. 
Um, yeah, because because that, that you, you click both of them. Yeah, but then you could just. Yeah, you can put your your pistols away and pull out your rifle. Okay, and shoot. well I'll do that. Put the pistols away, sling around with my rifle, and uh, take a shot at the guy so he doesn't do any more damage to either of them. Okay. Um. If. Yeah, so you can uh, devil's bargain on this. Um, if you want to take it, let me double check one thing. I think the fine rifle, that's a single shot, I believe. Mm hmm. Yeah. Um,. I'll be back in about five or ten minutes. Hopefully. Okay. If you want to take a devil's bargain here for an extra dice uh, or an extra die, uh, you drop your pistols and we'll have to grab them back a little bit more towards the end. Okay. I'll take it. Okay. All right. So it's still risky or is it desperate? Uh, risky. Okay. And standard or limited? Uh, limited. 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 Okay. And I'm getting the extra die for four. Four. Okay. Um, so what, what were you doing? Oh, yeah. You goes on fire? Yeah, I'm firing at the guy. Okay. So you, you hit him, knocking him. Um, like hitting the shoulder, which yeah. kind of rocks him backwards. Um, we'll say at that point, there's a, a gunshot from behind you. The one guy who got hit but wasn't like, I had his eye poked out. Yeah. He's, he's, he's got like a, a single shot. <laughs> fires at you, which would be a um, uh, shot in the back, which would okay. be a regular harm, like the, the middle level of harm. Do you want to reduce it? Yes. I, I will be wearing armor. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Six. I'm at six right now. And I added two armor. Okay, and then you can do a resistance roll, or or you can just uh, it'll take it down to like a, a bruised, like a, a basically like, like a bruised kidney. I'll do a resistance roll. And a resistance roll, if you, you would bring it down, then if you want to use the armor to get rid of it entirely. Yep. Okay. Um, what do I do for resistance roll? Where is that? Just click on the, I think it's prowess for the physical. Prowess. Oh, okay. Any bonus die? Nope. All right. You take two stress, okay. and it becomes a bruised kidney. And if you want to use an armor thing, you can get rid of that entirely. So just unclick both of those? No, on the um, on the sheet, right had, next. You clicked both of the armor boxes, right, Dave? Right before, and then look I just... directly to the left of that, and you'll see special. I okay. Think. And go up. There's a box that says armor. Click that oh, one. Okay. Yeah. That just shows that you've used armor once, and if you want to use armor again, you have to use the heavy armor, which is three slots. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, and right now you've used one, two, three, four, five, six, and you have a total of eight. So you would not be able to have heavy armor. Right. Unless I, yeah, yeah, I can't do that. Okay. okay. All right. Mikey. I'm popping the Rage Essence vial and commence into destroying people and things. Okay. And that, that what raises the. It. I have to find it. I've got it on uh, cutter items. Yeah. Modifies your position and effect accordingly when you fight on Rage Essence. You can suffer two consequences. Um, I'd say it would still be risky in this case, but you could take the um, the thing up to standard as far as like either terrorizing citizens or going after the fog hounds themselves. But then I'm also using my intimidating weapon, which adds another level of effect, so it becomes great. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, we're gonna. <laughs> well, the first thing I'm gonna make sure the the mission is accomplished. We're going to terrorize the citizens first, but then we'll destroy the fog hounds if I'm still alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this doesn't sound like a great idea suddenly um, <laughs> uh, 
Um, what's a devil's bargain look like? Uh, first, you said it's uh, risky, and then great effect. Mm -hmm. What's a devil's bargain look like on this? Uh, we'll say you, you, you kill someone, which will raise up the heat more. I'll take that. Okay. Uh, it makes sense in the story. Yep. So you're true. Like what? Well, that was a note. You killed someone. Uh, five. Yeah, with you, great like, effect. If you just want to explain like what it looks like after you pop it and then what um, you do. I swing this huge spiked cudgel and it just bashes through his head. Teeth are flying, blood splatters, his head jerks around, his body spins and tumbles to the ground like a, a limp rag doll just flopping. Um, you know, spinning in the air and then slamming to the ground. It's violent and horrific and I appear to have no sense of reason left <laughs> yeah um, alright so that's great effect yes okay so great effect is okay. is that three yeah you're going on the terrorized citizens or you want to put on the fog house terrorized citizens alright you have successfully terrorized the citizens of this area, but you are now looking down a bunch of fog hounds that are in that area, and we can kind of go back to, or yeah, the, you rolled a fi uh, five. Yes. Okay. But yeah, as as it's coming, as they they are they're trying to get some like some cuts in as you were starting to go nuts. Um, mm -hmm. You got some knives and stuff coming your way. You would take a um, um, bloody as a a, media, a regular wound. Would that be a one or a two? The second one. Level two. All right. Uh, well, I'm going to resist it. Okay. Um, so I'll take one stress, and that lowers to level one, right? Mm hmm Okay. Um, like slick with blood. You, you got some small cuts, but nothing that was, that was particularly dangerous. But I'm going to go ahead and pop my heavy armor okay. and not take that. All right. Dave. Okay. I'm going to pick up if I can get both of them mm -hmm. and head out. Okay, so a move. I think if you're taking both of them, it'll take it up to desperate. Okay. Um, yeah, what right. Right now, right, it'd be, it'd be a limited effect unless you have something that adds to that. And what am I? What am I doing? What am I clicking would on? Would this be finesse prowl? What would this be? Um, probably it was always move one of them. I remember all the prowl is mm, traverse obstacles. So I think what you've got here, yeah, um, yeah, skillfully, yeah, probably prowl. Okay. And you said risky. Um, or desperate. De desperate, because you, you, there's two of them that, that you're trying to, to go to. So okay. let's know because you're. Well, you're in a bad place, but right now you're you'll have a normal, uh, a regular uh, effect, standard effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, and how how can, can I take the what's the devil's uh, look look like? Um, Devil's bargain here is uh, you're going to have to do uh, a decent amount to get Steiner to forgive you for this. Okay, I'll take it. Okay. <sighs> yeah, as as you as you you kind of rush in. Um... Oh, wait. He only rolled one die. Should he have rolled another die? Yeah. Since he took the devil's bargain? Mm hmm If you just want to click your prowl again and... Just click it and... It uh, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Submit it, yeah. we, we know that it's... Also, do click do click XP for it. Yeah. You do, because it's desperate, so you get a prowess XP. Okay. Should I click that now? Sure. Okay. And then add one bonus die. Nope. No, no, no. Just, just roll a single die for the, the devil, just devil's party. Just roll the prowl. Six. Why did it roll? Why did you put a zero on there? I, I don't know. 
I because I don't have anything under prowl, maybe. Because oh, you said wait, you rolled zero that's, dice. That's why you rolled. Okay, that's why there's only one die. Well, uh, part of the, we can also let, let's do this. Let's so part of it that you, you kind of tell me the way that you want to do it. Um, because technically you could do it by skirmishing your way past. Skirmish your way, your way past him, as opposed to, or even kind of wrecking. It doesn't necessarily. It's one of those things where, um. You should you want, you want to? Uh, I mean, if you're grabbing him, that kind of sounds like what you're doing. Yeah. So yeah, that was yeah. The devil's dice would have been the second one. Um. So there would have been two dice instead of, uh, or there would have been one die. So actually, that three does hold. Okay. Yep. Well, ignore okay. the second one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um. Yeah. So. As, as you rush up, he actually pff, grabs you, and he's trying to, like, slam you pretty hard into a wall. Um, and this, since it wasn't desperate, this would be uh, severe harm. This would okay. probably be, like, broken ribs. Okay. Do you want to resist? Of course. So I'm resisting... What am I going to roll on? Uh, that'd be prowess. Well, what did you say? Oh, you just click on prowess. It'll do a resistance roll. Any bonus? Nope. Mm. Zero stress. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... No, no. Um, you, it doesn't cost you any stress. No, no. I was moving that up to what his stress oh, cool. is on his character oh, gotcha, sheet. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, cool. So <laughs> zero stress there. So it's going to take it from severe harm to um, uh, bruised ribs, which would be the second level of harm. Okay. That'll give you a minus one die. Things are looking a little grim. Okay. And we get Mikey back in the... Yeah, I could uh, I could try and resist this, uh, but I'm not going to try and resist the thing. I could try and resist this, the Rage Essence, but I'm not going to resist it. <laughs> okay. I'm going to uh, skirmish with these bad boys um, with the Foghounds. Because if I skirmish, uh, and uh, Michael, I'll I'll let you make the call. If I skirmish over to help Steiner and Cy, then if I do that, the next people I person I see is Dave. That's why I'm personally going to the Foghounds, and also I think that I'm surrounded by them. But yeah. if you think that I would help, if I I would attack over to the Steiner and Sty thing, then that's where I'll go. You you the thing is, well, you're inside of the of the. Uh, building there so you're probably in, in, unless you pull yourself out mm -hmm. you're probably going after the fog hounds however you have the plus one for the big scary thing you have mm -hmm. the plus one for the um rage vial mm -hmm. so you're looking at like a great effect yeah i'm just gonna so it's uh is it risky yep and uh great effect and is there a devil's bargain on this um two more heat. We'll, we'll I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know what I got. A six. Six. Okay. <laughs> I um, didn't need to take it, but I took it. If you want to go ahead and add two more heat to your uh the crew sheet. Sure. And I just want to double check again. Uh Yep, great effect. Three ticks. Which multi sided. Uh yeah, and that you you become this whirlwind inside like they're 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 kind of trying to come at you with some knives and such. And there's even a pistol shot or two, but none of them kind of seem to be hitting where you're <laughs> at. I'm weird. <laughs> And I, I will say, uh, Dave, as you kind of hit the wall, you do see the the one that you're kind of like actually looks inside, as he's hearing, like, "Get the fuck in here and help us!" <laughs> <clears throat> and he he looks like he's going to try to rush in, like rush into the the house now that you because I think you, you took that level two damage or was it reduced? Yeah. yeah so you're clearly hurt. Oh, and side. I'm going to play it up. Okay. Oh. So as he rushes in, then what do you do? I uh, grab both of them, and we start hauling out of there. Okay. I grab my pistols on the way by. Yep. So make a... Um, uh, 
it would technically be a prowl move again. Prowl. Okay. Though it sounds like controlled, risky, desperate. Uh, we'll say well, you're, you're in a place where you don't have someone right there. Keep it risky. Okay. There are other people in that area because you, you hear like calls from inside. Sure. The, those the two block radius and regular effect. Okay. And what's a devil's uh, bargain look like here? Um, do you have any coin? I do. Uh, you'll, you'll end up losing a coin because you have to replace the pistols that you're not able to grab. Yeah, those pistols were handed down from Papa Black Church. I don't, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna take Papa, it. don't preach. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Six. Uh, five. Because zero dice take the lower one, but your oh. other one was a five, which is still uh, enough to, you got them. Um, Oh, wait, there's a password? Uh, he says he's being asked for a password to rejoin the Zoom meeting. Let me... Invite. <laughs> uh, copy URL. Because last time I got a thing I hadn't had before where it was like, they're in the waiting room. Uh, that's because I found this out. Um, the, the, the problems with Zoom? Uh, they had people who were Zoom bombing. Yep meetings and they would hop in and post pornography or racist racist rant stuff and then pop out it may still be requiring that you have a uh, but I, didn't, I don't think I should put a password um, it mm, I don't know where it tells you where the password is no. Close. and uh, the password is 341316 where did you see that at uh, just go to the invite page. It's in the lower right-hand corner. Oh, got it. I didn't see them. Oh, yeah, I guess they, uh, they're like, yeah, we're going to try to fix up our shit that was not working. Yeah, so they started putting people in the waiting room and getting them approved sometimes. Yeah. There he is. Well, there he was. He was for a moment. He flashed in the pan. I think he did that on purpose. Yeah. Just always oh, back again. Right. Yeah, I am back. <laughs> How was your ambush meeting? Uh, it was uh, confusing. It was really a, like a topic I don't really know anything about, but I kind of need to be there to learn about and I'm. I, somewhat new to my team so there's a lot of the like old legacy stuff that comes up now and again that i don't know anything about um, so I'm helpful in the meetings but i kind of still need to go so that i start you know gaining some information through osmosis all right okay um yeah i will say you you grab the two of them um you had a five on there um complication uh Yeah, but let's say the, part of the kind of complication is you kind of got both of them. You are now um, have to make your way back at least to like to safety. Yeah. Um, Mikey, uh, I'm uh, skirmishing again. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, risky and mm -hmm. great. How how long does this potion last? That is a good question. It sounds like if it says it can't can't rest until they're all until they're all broken. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh. What's a de what's the devil's bargain on this look like there, Michael? <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Check something. You're going to do so much damage that you're going to piss off the blue coats a little bit. I'll just, I'll like, just like, like, like to a point where they can't ignore it. Yeah. I'm just going to take the skirmish without it. Okay. 
<laughs> six six. Jesus Christ! Nice. <laughs> <laughs> That means, that means he cripples all of them, right? That, that it means he's going to take this literally every single time. Because <laughs> yeah, the um, like, and, it, and it's already a great effect. Yeah, as I recall, a great effect is three ticks. Three ticks. Yeah, but don't double six. And no, I think it's no harm back to him. But and doesn't double six also like elevate? Oh, that's arm? critical. Yeah, it's a critical. Yeah, critical so, great success. So, Dave, as you, as you are, as you're kind of like, like pulling them back, like if anyone's coming after you, you're kind of fucked. You kind of look in, and Mikey, like, describe the scene and how you are coming down off of this. Everyone's broken. I am. Uh, oh man. So um, there, I am covered, covered in blood and teeth and bits of hair, yeah. scraps of clothes, <laughs> bits of broken wood. Some flesh. Um, there are bullets lodged in my armor that somehow I, you know, caught and just, I lucked out. They caught the, and I'm just, just absolutely covered in gore, heaving, breathing in and out over and over. And it's, you know, I'm, I'm basically sobbing because I, you know, I'm totally, are you, I'm, I'm done with the, the rage essence. Mm-hmm. Michael. Okay. So I'm sobbing and, and I, I'm, I'm just coming to terms with the fact that I'm just, that I was just an absolute brutal monster and that I killed people and, and loved it. It wasn't like with Jared, I thought he deserved it. These guys, this was just for the joy of killing that rage essence was just for the joy of killing. And I am just weeping on my knees with this big ass bloody cudgel and one of their heads part of one of their heads cradled in my lap <laughs> he's missing part of his head mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the one i ki- it's one of the ones i killed <laughs> <laughs> and and then there are all these other people who are just broken their legs are twisted and arms bones popped out they're alive they're crying they're super fucked up yeah. um screaming aloud yeah do we do we hear Sai say anything as we're getting to safety? Like um, I don't know. There's some sort of a phrase that she might utter. <laughs> the <ministry. laughs> yeah, Sai, you, you're probably sure. Wish to... we had some grenades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I say, like, Dave, what, what do you say when you see Mikey like this and like like and like everyone there's down, but you still hear people yelling from further in? Like you got heat on the way. You got to get out of there quick. Uh, brother, let, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Come on. The ministry so, thanks you for your time. <laughs> <laughs> I uh I kind of it takes a moment. Um like hopefully we're gonna get out of there in time, oh, but yeah. he it takes him a second pulling himself together and he doesn't wanna leave. He's kind of but he's like uh just but as we're walking out, I am like literally covered in blood and pieces of people and you know <laughs> teeth and just spattered and, <laughs> and i just uh i grab uh I, I i he's pulling steiner so i pick up our sister mm-hmm. and i'm carrying her and uh i'm just looking at everybody you know, through the windows as we walk past. No, I'm not. I'm not looking at anybody through the windows as we walk past. I'm just letting them see us. Um, and we may have to change our reputation to brutal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As, uh, you, oh, uh, now it's, now it's, it's still daring, but now it's I dare you to fuck with us. So, yeah, you go are ahead. going to head. Um, it's go ahead. Out. Kill my sister. <laughs> Towards safety. Um yeah. All right, so let's do a couple things real quick. Um, well, Paul, you get to clear out your stress, but you do gain a trauma. Yeah. So one of the things that trauma means, um, so you, you circle one of those trauma conditions. Um, yeah, when you return, you have zero stress. Your vice has been satisfied for the next downtime. Um, but afterwards, if you don't indulge on your vice during a downtime, you actually take stress equal to your trauma. Okay. So it, um, it will it will end up adding stress. I know that the trauma condition is supposed to be permanent, but it is. Yeah, but 
would you be okay with like me taking one and then maybe having like a like a whether it's a long term project or just kind of like some off screen RP where I like I kind of like work through that and it settles into something else. Okay. The, the, part, of, part of the way it goes is because it also goes towards characters eventually retiring. Yeah. Like yeah, part of yeah, the because yeah. you're playing a gang. Like part of the thought is you're gonna have people who like your trauma once you have it does not go away. Um, I know it doesn't go away, but I was wondering like if I could take vicious and then like when I kind of like work through that and do some self therapy by like just butchering some people, if that could just settle into reckless once I've kind of. Yeah, so that, mechanically, that, that here's how it that'd works. Be, that I'd be okay with. Yeah, mechanically, here's how it works. You don't have to choose to play your trauma in any game session. Mm -hmm. know, if you yeah. do play your trauma, you get experience for it. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't, that's on you. But still, when you get four trauma, you're out. Yeah, yeah. And, I understand. I just wanted to like. I think her initial reaction is going to be like getting out and like getting some just revenge on the world for this like shame and. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fine with I'm fine with that. That makes it switching it from yeah. one to the other. Like I think that that makes some sense. So she'll be vicious for a while and then reckless okay. when she kind of works through her demons there. Unless she gets another trauma, and then she'll be vicious and reckless. <laughs> um. So we'll start off a couple things. You're going to gain uh, some mechanical stuff before we get into the, the role play stuff. Uh, mm. You're going to have three rep added to your uh, your crew. Okay. I just uh, did it. Um, <laughs> yeah, and the way the job goes, this also... We'll see. You may have pulled a few things out there. Um, maybe a strong box for coin. Cool. Uh, uh, that's uh, one for each of us and one for the lair, yes? Yeah. And then uh, go ahead and add the, the terrified citizens. Done. And I think you, you you had done a thing where you don't have the crime boss to pay off. Right. Yeah. Well, this was loud and chaotic. Yeah. So that's four heat. Uh, happened on hostile turf, so that makes it five. We're uh, already at one at level one, so we'll be at zero heat one at level one. Okay. And does any of it? Does any of it? Nothing rolls over, as far as I'm aware. It's supposed to roll over. Oh, does it? Yeah. Okay. Well, the four takes us to one at level one, so then I clear the heat and go ahead. And I, I think we already added. Do we already add the two? Did someone already add the two for the? Um... I already added the murder heat. Okay. Yeah. So which means, um, in that case, was there? So it was the four. So yeah, Loud and Chaotic is four, and then you're going to get plus one because it was high profile, or it was uh, on Hostile Turf. So it's it. like one's going to go through, and you've already added the ones for the heat. So you're now at a one wanted level. Yay. Whew. And what is your heat? Our heat is one on wanted level one. So wants me to do, do me a favor, just roll a single die. You're also um, going to be at war after this. Uh, so I'm just going to... Uh... Are they still a tier above us, or did we kind of like weaken them? Actually, we're at war. I think you might actually. I rolled a two. Two. Okay, I will check that here in a moment. So as far as entanglements go, when we're at war, we only get one downtime. Yep. The usual suspects. Um, yeah, someone's like like vice prepared. We'll we'll work on that in a moment. Um, yeah, I think also I think while you're at war, you're also taking um, uh, I think it's on the faction sheet. You temporarily lose one hold. The fog hounds have a weak hold, so what this is going to do, this will put the fog hounds at the same level as you. They're going to mm -hmm. be considered tier zero while while the, while you are at war. Um, so one thing you can think of: there's you only get one uh, one free downtime action instead of two. Um, claims that generate coins will only get half of them. Um, I don't think you have any claims that generate coin yet. But are we okay taking a quick bio break and then we can kind of come back and go from there? Sure. sure. Terrorized citizens, Is we would now... only get one instead of two. Yep. talk about crew advancement yet? Not yet. 
So I think that was a successful battle, extortion, sabotage, or smash and grab operation. <laughs> and we definitely contend with challenges above our current station. We bolstered our crew's reputation or developed a new one. Oh, yeah. I don't think we have to replace the reputation. Don't we, we can just add one. <laughs> <laughs> we bolstered it for sure. It was definitely daring and brutal. <laughs> and I know Mikey was like leaning towards uh, like building the other stuff in the screw crew sheet, but I'm also looking at this special ability door not door kickers. Well, actually, you may not quite be at war yet. Um, God, I hope not. <laughs> not so they, they might have to take a vote or something. I, I think I think it'll put them at. I mean, you went through, you killed, which may. Which is status? Actually, you gain minus one or minus two status with factions that are hurt. Yeah, this you killed some people. You came in. That's going to be minus two. It'll put you at war. The good part of that, though, is they are now on equal footing as you, tier wise. So the limited effect goes away. What what would it take, just out of curiosity, because I know we've got to finish all this and do our downtime and mm -hmm. stuff. What would it take to, now that we're at the same tier uh, and same hold, because we're on a weak hold mm -hmm. too, um, to kill, to, to eliminate the Foghounds? Uh, I mean, it's going to be... Probably a couple jobs. Um, or absorb them. Yeah, let, let, me, let me look a little bit more into that, some, some of the specific mechanical stuff on that. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's just get into, uh, tell me what happens when you get to safety. Um, let's start with the more wounded characters. Yeah. If they Because they may want to, to do the doctory stuff. And stuff, and you only get one downtime. Although you can pay a coin for another downtime. Well, he said we weren't actually at war yet. No, you so, are. Oh, I thought you said it only brought it to what limited two. No, I, the thing you, you get you get minus one or minus two. Uh, with and a, we were already at minus one. Yeah, the thing is, I'm like, yeah, that's you. You went in and you killed some people. It must not as if you did. They can't necessarily just look the other way on this one. In their best interest, to... And, and you, I mean, you beat the shit out of them, so they're not going to be able to come at you immediately, but it's going to come. But the uh, good thing is that they only have one downtime, too. I guess, if that's a good thing. Yeah, you can say positive things. So who wants to start? Or I, I mean, I will if nobody else. I think Paul should start because he's got the most. Well, we, we, also, we don't have to go straight into the downtime stuff. There can be also a little bit of RP just as far as what happens oh, sure. when you get back. Yeah. Well, well uh, like as a, a real quick, like what was the recap of what happened after I got knocked out? You want to let him know? Sure. You um, you got knocked out, and uh, and dog ran to cover you. Because uh, as soon as you went down, I screamed, get her the fuck out of here. And he saw me reaching for my Rage Essence file, uh, which has multiple effects. One, it makes it easier for me to kill people. And two, uh, it makes it to where I can't stop until they're all broken. And I can't tell friend from foe. <laughs> so when you went down, I popped it. He went to get you out of the way. There was some struggle. He took some wounds. Um, but as I started with the rage vial, the first thing I did was fill up the terrorized citizens clock. And then the second, you know, and within two actions, I had 
killed the fog hounds. <laughs> and uh, thanks mostly to that last heroic fucking epic dice roll that uh, I can never count on ever. <laughs> but I killed them all. Like I, I didn't kill them all. The last one. <laughs> I, I killed two, but I took them all out, and I just beat the living fuck out of everybody. <laughs> um, everybody got a taste. Yeah, they really did. Uh, I chose to play the brute, and it, it came out in this particular one. So how how many foghorns were involved with that? Foghorns. Foghorns. I say. I say. I say. Uh, how many? How many of the foghorns? <laughs> <laughs> I, all of them how many know, were there because like, because as far as the like we filled up that terrorize the people clock so it's like three ministry people walk in and take out a dozen of them or like six of them oh there about there's about eight of them uh there okay so at least eight eight of them got two of those eight got killed one horrifically well no two horrifically got killed <laughs> Because I was willing to take devil's bargains. And then... <laughs> the ones that survived will never forget it. Yeah. This is my military background coming out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm... I, I, when we get back, I'm sitting... Uh, we're in the grotto. And um, I've got my boots off. And I have polished my boots because I wear military boots. My, my standard uniform is a colored work shirt with rolled up sleeves and sharp trousers and a vest and military boots. And I'm there in a blood soaked wow. shirt and blood soaked trousers and a blood soaked vest caked in blood, dried blood in my hair, polishing my boots and drinking a little bit. <laughs> So that, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> and your, your question from earlier, um, you can actually do a, a thing to reduce their hold. Mm -hmm. So if you reduce their hold, I mean, right now they're technically considered level zero. But reduce their hold would permanently make them level zero. And essentially, they'd be level zero um, with stronghold, but it means that they're also, they'll have lost a good deal of the, the sort of power and influence that they had. And would that make us still at war? Uh, you a lot of times that will sort of that that could also be a thing to. Is there a specific thing to end the war? Um, yeah, we don't need to necessarily destroy them. We can absorb the lower tiers, or we could go sway them, or do a sway action, or whatever. Try and figure out a. Yeah, because there there are some ways to also go in and make things. Um, so in our downtime, we'll make them some cinnamon rolls, and we'll go over there and apologize. I think in your downtime, you should start by uh, not being dead. Yeah. I don't know what 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 um, harm do you have on you there. Uh, I'm down to zero stress, but I do have a bruised leg and shoulder slash. So yeah, I'm going to start working on those. I'm taking care of all my bruises. Well, one, ribs. mechanically, it's going to be easier for Michael to run if pick one of you and start there. Okay. Yeah. So, so if I, um, Mike, if you want, well, to do that, if you want to take a look at like uh, ending, um, uh, ending the wars, that there's a thing, and I'm just not remembering what it is right offhand. Okay. And I'll check it, it out. They said the actual end war by eliminating your enemy or by negotiating a mutual. Yeah. So it was like negotiating a mutual agreement. Could be mm -hmm. a thing where, where we bring everyone together and it becomes a thing. But Paul, what are you doing? Um, so I'm gonna um, after they after I kind of get such situated and able to like kind of move on my own again, I'm gonna make my way to Stasia's place. She's my apothecary friend, mm -hmm. and uh, about the time she closes business, I'm gonna be waiting in her back room for her with like my uh, my doctor kit unrolled and my bloody clothes. I'm gonna say I might need your help with some of this. Yeah, she's a little so like, you look like shit. Well, hope it's not worse than I feel. What do you need? Uh, so I'm going to, between the two of us, hopefully get some ticks off of a healing clock. All right. Um, she's a, she's a friend of yours? Yeah, she's my, my, my up uh, okay. friend. So I, I think on that one, we probably have you add uh, an extra die. Okay. And 
Is this controlled since I'm in a friend's house? Yep. The uh, standard effects. Mm -hmm. This one die. All the times to roll double sixes. Yeah. Oops. Yep, so I fill in two on your progress clock. So you are you're on your way, but you, like she she kind of bandages you up, and she's just looking looking you over and goes, "You, I don't know what happened to you, but you need to not fight quite so hard next time." Yeah. If, well, if you wanted to spend another coin, you could do that action again. Yeah, yeah, I think because uh, I'm also yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'm sorry I put us at war. <laughs> I get the feeling I'm going to be apologizing a lot. Come on, just click. Click. So if that's three, does that mean like one of those carries over to the next wound? No, it would still be the two. But I think, I think what it does, it just takes your... Does it does reduce everything by one by one? I thought a six was three three clock ticks. Oh, let me double check. I don't know if they carry over uh, like from one moon to the next. It reduces all when you fill the healing clock, you reduce all harm by one level. So oh, I, second so would I roll mean, over, but it, it means that both of your a whole level, not a single descriptor. Yeah, it basically takes all three of the things and just pops them all down. Okay. So if you had anything on level one, they're gone. Yep. Anything level two is now level one. All right. Anything level three is now level two. Cool. And I'll uh, I'll leave her a bottle of her favorite wine and a couple of not in quotes coins. Yeah. Say thank you. Hey, yeah. while you're there, if you're there with her and going to be using her services, we should all be visiting her there. I was actually going to just say that, but. <laughs> And she just comes in and she just looks like, how, how many of you have, everyone here is wounded? I'm still bloody, but I have polished boots. <laughs> not, they weren't his this morning, but they're nice. <laughs> <laughs> they still had the feet in them. <laughs> yeah, so here, did, did she kind of open up the door and there there are three, all, all three of you just sit there and look like shit. Sorry. And she's like, so for their healing, since I'm also a healer, can I do it? Can they do group rolls with a plus one for me as well? Yeah, I think you can actually you can actually do the tinker on this one. Um, and then she can just give me a plus one to that. Yep. All right. I have bruised ribs. I'd like taken care of. So this will be then for doggy. Oh. I like the way you're rolling. Uh, That's a five. Yeah, five, two ticks. So wait, what do they take two ticks where? Uh, there's a healing clock. On your character sheet? Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So click it twice? Yep. Okay. And then and if you want her to do it again, pay a coin. You could basically all, all take the, spend the coin you did, uh, you got on this, this, this thing to try to heal yourself. Okay. You want me to we, do it again? We might just have to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you also went into desperate. You went right, like like you. Uh, good, anybody anybody pop their XP? I do. Uh, I haven't on prowess or or anything yet, but um, we yeah. haven't done the playbook XP yet. So you got a critical, Dave. Yeah, I did. Oh, so that what that'll actually end up rolling over. Um, yeah, so you add three, actually add four to it, okay. which means it'll take everything down by one, and then however much is left on yours. So my bruised ribs go down to the less effect? Yeah, so it'll, it'll probably just be like sore ribs, and you'll have two on the progress clock. Okay. Um, Primo. Yep. That's three, right? Damn, son. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay the coin and um, and ask again. 
May I have another? Please, sir, may I have another? And that's a five, so that's, that ticks the clock and takes off my concussion, yes? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, so Staja. <laughs> like, like uh, essentially, like, the all of you work fairly late. I'm going to throw her on that NPC. It's going to be probably important. Yeah, I think we're going to get to like her or she'll hate us one. <laughs> <laughs> that's, why I, that's why I bring her favorite wine. Yeah, it's, it's, she's kind of she's kind of finished up and got y'all done, and she just kind of just like uh, slumps into a chair just afterwards. It's like, what the hell did you three? We, do? We're all standing outside the door. She brought her, her favorite wine, and then when she opens the door, we're out there. We're each out there with a bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then she just kind of grabs it. Kunk. What the hell did you three do? There were some people that needed defending over in, I don't remember the name of their district. Collecting you, ties. You, you haven't heard. <laughs> you didn't hear. I'm assuming it just, to as bloody as you are, because I'm assuming it just happened. So I'm sure I'll hear more. No. Whoever you were protecting. We did nothing. Here's a question, Michael, mm -hmm. just uh, off the... Does terrorize citizens since we did the extortion? Does that count as turf as well or not? It does not. Since we... No, turf. Turf is a specific. Okay, the, so we that, just that, took their claim. Yeah. So, so you you have that claim. Okay. But turf is specifically the ones that say turf. Making sure. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so your crew sheet, like yeah, you, you actually have like right now, you have access to three turfs. I mean, really, the second one you go after could have it where you could have. If you did several jobs to take turf in the next couple, you could do that relatively easily. Okay. Um, yeah, you, I'm going to go the... ahead in the downtime and click the other thing on our cohort. Off. Oh. And if we went to the turf to the left, the next one could be blue coat intimidation because if the next one goes the same way, then maybe the next, the third one, they'll be like, you know what? Maybe we should just let these guys do their thing. Minus two heat per score would be really nice when I tend to kill people. Yeah, yeah, that would be. <laughs> yeah, that would. I would. Now, thing is, you could go straight for blue coat intimidation. Yeah, it's a little harder if you if you skip over the things, but having turf makes it also easier for you to gain um, uh, upgrades. Like, but before you're, you're the more turf you have, the faster you're uh, you you move up in the uh, tiers. And as you can see, tiers can be hugely important. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that if we do the turf first and then the blue coat intimidation, then by the time we get to blue coat intimidation, they can just be like, okay, so I guess they just get one free body per raid because I'm not dealing with them. Yeah, kind of, essentially. You have, I've got a coupon for one body <laughs> off. I've, I've got several of those. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I need several of those, I mean. Um go to downtime activities because I may decide to pay another coin and take another downtime activity. We may need to uh, reach out to our dear brother and uh, try to smooth some of this over. Oh. But we were dressed up as sailors. I think it was an internal civil war, right? How do we reduce our wanted level other than... Is there a way to reduce our wanted level? Because that's reducing heat. Uh, reducing wanted level means that someone goes to jail. Uh, it could be people associated with you. It could be someone you bribed for it. There could be a number of things, but like wanted only goes down. Um, I say why. I vote for Psy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I vote for like, Drudge. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, one of the things that could end up happening, mm -hmm. and this is probably, like, probably not now, um, but one thing you're able to do is because of the nature of it, it's very easy to make up a new character. Mm -hmm. You could have someone for a couple scores end up like, particularly the lower wanted level for a month or two in prison. Um, and you can also do a thing where you can try to get prison um, claims. On a second, guys. Yep. I got to go for a minute. Yeah, but we could also do a thing where like if one of us goes to prison, we can actually create a second character to play for a while. Yeah, well, I'm saying both those things are possible where you can do a thing where someone, so you, oh, here's, you just pull up, here's another member of the gang. Um you can also do a thing where you look at prison claims and go, oh, we want to start doing some jobs in prison to try to add to guard payoff smugglings, like to do those stuff to make it easier when someone's in prison. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. and, or, 
or the, or when uh when Primo goes to jail, it's like oh and, and <laughs> Oops. we really we do the soap opera thing and like and then his twin brother uh, Binius shows up and uh, he happens to have the same character sheet. <laughs> <laughs> His twin brother Duplo, <laughs> Secundus. <laughs> yeah. So the only way to do it is uh, crew members, friend, or contact, or a framed enemy is convicted, incarcerated for crimes associated with your crew. Right. So uh, it could be Mercy, a cold killer who's a friend of mine, goes right. We need to send a the we we need to frame the head of the uh, the foghounds. The foggers say that. The, this was all. This was all just a, a dupe. They've been working for us the whole time, and look what they just did. <laughs> I like the way you think. I, I'm not sure that my character is built to do that, but I like the way you think. <laughs> all right. So, um, who who filled up their prowess inside a resolve bar? bar? And oh, I'm prowess. away from from prowess being full. You're yeah. one away. Oh, I have. I have a you I broke up there. Well, wait, how many times did we? Did I have desperate encounters? Let me go back. Hold on. Yeah, each each time you had a desperate roll, you should have marked it. I did every time I had a desperate roll. So I, I, I tried to remind everybody every time it happened, but that doesn't mean. Yeah, Paul, did you do that? I. I disconnected for a second and then it automatically reconnected we're trying to see if, if uh paul if you if you had happened to add to when you rolled desperate yeah, I, I added my prowess desperate okay i did them as i i, I ticked them as i did them because i knew i wouldn't remember how many at the end that's what i do too yeah um do, we, do you want to do XP right now, or is there anything else we need to finish up? Um, yeah, do we want to do end of session? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm, I would not mind getting something to eat, and I've actually got another game I'm running at six. Okay. Um, All right. We press a skill with mayhem. I did miss one of mine, so I do have a full prowess bar. Okay. Sweet. That means, that means you, you get to add, basically take um, one of your prowess skills mm -hmm. and add one to it. So I can either like have it now, like prowl, or I could have two skirmish. Yeah. Now, I think one thing is if you if you add to the more of those you have set up, like at least one of them in there, it means your resistance rolls can be that many more dice. Right. Yeah. You can. You can take a new a new action. You can take a die and a new an action. You don't have any dots in. Yeah, right. And so, that could be a good idea for like the resistance roll. Like if you're rolling like four dice, your chances of getting a six are a whole lot more than if it's one or two. Yeah. yeah. All right. I, and then I wipe out all my yep tags. Um, my yeah, I don't have any more in prowess, so I, I add one to prowl. All right, so I think that we should do this one at a time. Um, whoever wants to go first on their individual XP, or if you want to do the crew first. Let's do crew. Did we execute a successful battle, extortion, sabotage, or smash and grab operation? I would say we did. Yeah, we, we smashed a lot, and we grabbed two unconscious people. <laughs> did we contend with challenges above our current station? Yep. <laughs> Did we bolster our crew's reputation or develop a new one? I would say yes. Terrified I citizens, think, yeah. I think we did both. I think we... we did we was, do both? That was daring and, I think, brutal as well. Michael, is that... Do you agree? Because if that's true, we get two XP for it instead of one. Uh, sure, why not? Yeah, okay. Uh, did we express the goals, drives, inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew? <laughs> uh, we... I think we I did. Kick ass bravos. Like, yeah, you, you, you kick uh, indoors. Yeah. But we had a goal of fucking these people up. That fills up our XP bar, which means that we either get to pick a new special ability or take two crew upgrades. Crew upgrades. Crew upgrades. Yeah, I like the idea of the upgrades, but I did also notice this door kicker's ability, which we seem to be pretty good at just. 
when you execute an assault plan, play, take one die to the engagement roll. Add one die to the engagement Forge roll. Forge the fire is pretty good too. Yes. Yeah. Plus one yeah. die to resistance rolls is super handy to resist damage. I think for like an RP thing, after a few more ass kickings, that one would be great. You were in the military for a while, yes. I was yeah. in the military. Uh, you, yes. Or, or we could take war dogs. When you're at war, your crew does not suffer minus one hold, and PCs still get two town time activities instead of just one. Dude, that'll be fucking handy. Shall we take that? <laughs> well, let's let's look over some of the upgrades and just see what they how they stack. I was say if we did that, Michael, would yep. we get our coins back? Yeah, you, you could do that. Um, I mean, we're at war. I, I don't, I haven't looked up yet what secure does exactly, but your lair has locks, alarms, and traps to thwart intruders. Um, I think we are the traps, so maybe. We, yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the war dogs. Yeah, I do. And I'm only saying that because it's very convenient right now. Let's take that. <laughs> All right. War Dogs, it is. Add yourself a coin back, and if you want to take a downtime action in exchange for that coin, another downtime, excuse me, action in exchange for that coin, you may. I'm going to. Some of you, like, vice would not be a terrible thing. Uh, I don't want to overindulge. I'm, you're right, though. Um, First things first, I'm going to um, spend one coin and train prowess. We get two XP for training prowess, right? Um, yes. Yeah. Which rolls me over on the prowess bar. I should have done one more roll because even if I do that, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna not take the coin and I'm gonna I'm gonna up my prowess. And then I'm going to spend that last coin and indulge my vice down at the pits. Ooh. Um, no bonus dice. I'm going to take the, can I take the extra action and train twice? Yes. As long okay. as you pay for it. Yeah. Six. Okay. I got a six, which means I overindulged. I'm going to up my prowl then. Probably should do skirmish, but I need the, those resistance rolls. Um, yeah, plus one dice to your roll next to, yeah. Um, oh, wait, um, overindulgence. Um, I either attract trouble, or I take too heat bragging about our exploits, or I vanish for a few weeks, or my current purveyor cuts me off. Um, go ahead, roll a die for the uh, extra entanglement. Oh, it just says uh, select. Oh, yeah. Which one do you want? <laughs> You're not allowed in the fight clubs for a week. No, no. I'd have to find a different place to do it. I'm going to take that because the reputation between between the reputation I just mm -hmm. developed for us mm -hmm. and me being in the fight club, maybe I beat the hell out of somebody too much. Yeah. I will say this also. Um, damn it! Dude, I put in the wrong one. Uh, what's the What's the name of your uh, your person? Uh, my uh, vice purveyor, yep. Grist. All right. If you uh, there's now a clock. If you want to repair your reputation with Grist, fuck it. I'll start my own fight club. <laughs> I'm gonna beat the shit out of my sister. <laughs> probably do something that would be challenging let me know when you're ready for me to okay go. all I right think, um i since we got our money back or whatever i have two mm -hmm. <clears throat> coin left one i'm spending on indulging my vice and <laughs> invite uh steiner to meet me at the smoke shop mm -hmm. and I'm going to yes. punish him for his failure yeah no, pay, pay him his coin as well yeah no, I, that will take me down to no coin. Did and, I roll? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, which means you're going to equal to the highest die result. Yeah, so you're going to lose two stress. Okay. <clears throat> I think, Mikey, I think, yeah, you also cl you cleared your stress. I did. Okay. So, Dave, what, what's your stress at now? Uh, it's at four. Okay. Um, yeah, and you are... What's your, what's your what's the assassin's name again? Steiner. Steiner, yeah. Steiner's just like, oh, it's like a cigar. It's one of the kids they've got working for him. I wasn't paying attention. They had some other people got blindsided. Fuck, I should have known better. So sorry, mate. So sorry. It's my fault. I should have done my research better. You're making so, enemies a little faster than your. Uh, a little faster than you should. Well, um, I'm going to also take the blame for that. Uh, rushed in and, you know, and then, of course, um, by allowing my sister to get hurt, my, my brother had to go berserk. And uh, I don't know. think your brother ever has to go berserk. I think your brother <laughs> likes going berserk. Well, I'm, I'm not denying that, but, you know. Uh, it helps to be backed up by a little more than two other people when you're taking on a gang. He takes a drink or like the whiskey or whatever. He's like, I was an idiot for going along with it. Now, next time we will go in with a heavier hand, I think. Oh, next time you're you're on this already. Because <laughs> we have a choice right now. Yeah, we are. <laughs> These foghorn, foghound, fog. Uh, I see, I see, son, I see. Not a fan. Well, next time you do this, count me out. Right, mate. I get it. Totally get it. But we're we're cool, right? We're cool. I mean, your coin spends. All right. Excellent. Thank you. You patching up with Steiner there? Yeah. Steiner. <clears throat> Steiner. War! Oh, good God. Good God. <laughs> Say any good though. <clears throat> Gain a reputation. Say it again. <laughs> oh, war! <laughs> good for killing a Thursday afternoon. All right. Uh, it's, 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 well, it's only Monday. Oh, shit, it's Monday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it killed a lot of afternoon. All right. Time has uh, been... Time is weird right now. It yes, is. it is very fluid. <laughs> um, Have we done individual XP yet? I have not. Because I'm sure Michael wants to eat and... Okay. Yeah, we just want to head through. Um, go ahead, Sai, you start. Um, did I address a challenge with technical skill or mayhem? You bombed shit. I threw a grenade. I don't know how skillful that was. Um, express my belief, drives, heritage, or background. I don't really know that I can claim that one. Yeah. Uh... Struggle with issues from my vice or trauma. No, no that I mean, that that will now that you've got the trauma, that will soon become a thing. Yeah. All right. So you can well, use. One for me. All right. Um, I addressed a challenge with tracking your violence for sure. Mm -hmm. So I took one. <clears throat> I don't know that I can say the other two. No. Yeah, please try hard. No, I don't think quite on those. Oops. Actually, I think I accidentally marked up one. Too much, too many. And so, some of that can also be like, like the the downtime between scores, like the the free role play stuff in there. There's some stuff we can do to kind of explore that, and some of your friendships and other stuff a yeah. little bit more. And maybe we should be. Um, I express my drive to not die by going to a healer. I mean, yeah. <laughs> and I express my drive not to lose my my spy contact or my assassin contact. Um, I, I could I could see that. Okay. You, you, you did another thing where you wanted to. Yeah, make it, make it right with him. Yeah, yeah. I addressed a challenge with violence or coercion. <laughs> nah, no, no, it doesn't count. Did did that happen multiple yeah. times? And Paul, you, I can also think you, you going to the friend and taking the taking the wine and such and apologizing all that kind of stuff. I can kind of see that be, but like beliefs drives like the drive to keep them. I can see that. 
Would you count me as addressing a challenge with violence or coercion as once or multiple times? Um, I would actually go multiple. You did you did go with also with the uh, the rage vial, which took it to another level. Okay, that's why I was asking. I I wasn't sure how you. Yeah. I think normally that's it. if there's multiple scores, but. Did I uh, express my beliefs, drives, or heritage, or background? I thought I was trying to play up the military a little bit, but how do you feel about it? Well, what, between the boots and the loss of life and losing, he doesn't like that he lost control. Yeah. But, mm -hmm. and then yeah, yeah, that, that, that moment afterwards. Mm -hmm. Struggled with issues from my vice or traumas during the session. I beat the shit out of people and got kicked out of my vice purveyor yeah mm -hmm. is is that a yes yep that's i just filled up a playbook advancement so what does that mean because i've not done that before okay so on that one um the very basic level uh is i think it might that might just be the one um just pick a special ability or something yeah pc advancement let me just check 48 so i think you can take one of those i don't think there's another specific one um playbook Yeah, you get an sp additional special ability. Okay. I'll have to look before I make a decision, because I don't know. Cool. Oh, or, or is it a special condition to add a, an attribute to a, an action die? Oh, never mind, never mind. That's a different type of advance. Oh, yeah, you, to add a dot, add a dot to the things yeah, yeah that, it, that that that's when your insight prowess or resolve fills up it was listed in the same paragraph mm -hmm. cool well sounds like see everybody on thursday all right thanks guys thank uh, you have a good one see you brother bye.